Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and welcome back to Black American Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for supporting this channel. Now, y'all, some, some black people just should not have made it out of the cotton fields. They need to still be picking and chopping and planting cotton because that's where their mind is. So here in the halls of Congress, we have two black congressmen having a discussion about whether or not black people were better off during Jim Crow. So to the left is Representative Hakeem Jeffries, a Democrat from New York. And then on the right is Byron Donalds again. He is a Republican from Florida. And Congressman Jeffries had to tell Byron Donalds, check yourself, check yourself. So Jeffries clashes with Trump VP contender Byron Donalds over Jim Crow remarks. Now Byron Donalds is trying to be the vice presidential candidate. So he will say anything that he thinks will help him get to that position. So let's see what this was all about. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and Representative Byron Donalds traded barbs on Wednesday over inflammatory comments Donalds made regarding black families' quality of life during Jim Crow era racial segregation. And the reason this discussion needs to be brought to the light is because Byron Donalds is seen as a potential running mate for Donald Trump in an election year when both parties are forcefully courting black voters as polling suggests softening support for Democrats. During Jim Crow, the black family was together. The Philadelphia Inquirer quoted Byron Donalds as saying during a Trump campaign office opening Tuesday in Philadelphia. So he's out there in Philadelphia, which used to be a Democratic stronghold, trying to court votes for Trump. So he's saying that during Jim Crow, more black people were not just conservative. Black people have always been conservative minded, but more black people voted conservatively. And then Byron Donald said, Lyndon Johnson, you go down that road and now we are where we are, he added, referring to welfare policies instituted during the 1960s. Donalds also argued that the Biden administration's welfare policies have continued that dynamic according to Politico. I don't know where in the country the welfare did so much damage to the black family because I don't see that in the South. Black people in the South are doing better than we've ever done. And I don't want to go back to Jim Crow days because I have a little bit of remembrance of what that was like. So I think he's way out of pocket. Hakeem Jeffries tore into Byron Donald's remarks on the House floor when, yesterday. Mr. Speaker, it's come to my attention that a so-called leader has made the factually inaccurate statement that black folks were better off during Jim Crow. That's an outlandish, outrageous, and out-of-pocket observation. We were not better off when a young boy named Emmett Till could be brutally murdered without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when black women could be sexually assaulted without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off 
when people could be systematically lynched without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when children could be denied a high quality education without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be denied the right to vote without consequence because of Jim Crow. How dare you make such an ignorant observation? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. I yield back. The Democratic National Committee also called out Donalds with spokesperson Marcus Robinson saying, this is Donald Trump's MAGA Republican Party VP contender praising Jim Crow. I mean, this is crazy. Donalds posted a video to social media saying Democrats are trying to say, I said black people were better under Jim Crow. I never said that. They are lying. And that's what he said. He was talking about black people being conservative during Jim Crow. Black people are conservative and have always been conservative. We just don't vote for the Republican. You can be a conservative without voting for a Republican. Now he goes back and tries to clean it up. What I said was you had more black families under Jim Crow. And it was the Democrat policies under HEW, under HEW, Health, Education, and Welfare, that did help to destroy the black family, Donald said. That's an interesting talking point. But those things didn't destroy the black family. First of all, the black family is not destroyed. And he went and married a white woman, so that's not a black family. So he has participated in the destruction of the black family. I also said you're seeing a reinvigoration of black families today in America, and that is a good thing, he added. Donalds is viewed as among Trump's potential 2024 running mates. So, you know, he went back and tried to clean it up, but they, they are going back trying to make black people think that Jim Crow was better than it is today. And so now all these black people are saying they're going to vote the couch. They're not going to vote. They're not going to vote. So what black people are doing now is voluntarily doing what white people used to pay black people not to do. They used to pay you not to vote. Now black people are voluntarily not voting. And that is their prerogative. And they think they sound very smart when they say that. And these internet geniuses who fake like they know a lot about politics are driving this vote the couch, vote the couch. That is not smart, in my opinion. But it is a person's prerogative to do if that's what they want to do. But Byron Donalds is nothing but a puppet for the Republican Party. And for him to get out here talking about Jim Crow sounds like Ben Carson. These people are puppets of the Republican Party, and what they're saying is not helpful or beneficial to the black family or the black American community. Nobody is saying that the Democrats have done everything right. But if it wasn't for the 1964 Civil Rights Bill, we would still be in Jim Crow. And every time somebody wants to think that they're better off, they were better off in Jim Crow, they need to go back and look at the Jim Crow laws and the black codes and make a decision about whether or not they want to go back to that system in America. Because all of this talking and all of these people doing all of this loose talk, it's really not helpful to the black American community. We really don't want to go backwards. We want good governance and we want good leadership, but I don't want to go backwards and I don't think many other people want to go backwards. But let me know what you think about this. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and as always, have a great evening.